New this morning from Virginia Beach to Ocean View to the peninsula. In the last half of the last century, there were several waterfront amusement parks. Thanks for joining us on Fox 43. I'm Katie Collette and I'm Bianca Holman. The Hampton Carousel is the last remaining link to those days and now there's a proposal to relocate it again. Then on your side, Brett Hall joins us live from its current location this morning. Yeah, it's been known as Carousel Park, Bianca and Katie, since the early 90s. We're right up against the pavilion here where the 1920 carousel currently sits. It's been closed actually since the summer because of a mechanical issue, but it's been preserved here for about three decades. But now there's a proposal from downtown stakeholders to move it again. First, some brief history. It was built for the Buckrow Beach theme park or amusement park, I should say again. And it was there until really the mid 20s when or excuse me, the mid 80s when that theme park or that amusement park closed and then it was moved here. Well, now they're looking at it and it's 48 hand carved horses and they're wondering, well, maybe it could be served in a better pavilion. This one is aging and a proposal in August 2021 has it moving uh, to a park just a few blocks from here. Now, there's also a proposal to possibly take it back to Buckrow Beach. Today, Hampton City Council is going to hear both of them. The carousel obviously had its day downtown. Right now, it's, it's underutilized. It's taken a, a large footprint in that particular park. And frankly, the way it's housed in the existing building with dark and glass, you don't know the carousel's in there. Back now looking live, Hampton City Council hasn't really discussed anything since that 2021 presentation, but I saw on documents this morning that a total cost could be around $2.8 million to move it. You can watch the discussion today at 1 on Hampton's website or in City Hall where they will be meeting. For now, live in Hampton, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.